Hey guys, it's Morgan Segers, and if you are happy with our leaders right now, why? <laughs> I'm so mad I'm about to blow a gasket. Here's just one of the reasons, though. The aftermath of the failures of the Afghanistan pullout. Yeah, that thing that happened, like, just a few weeks ago, where our leaders abandoned American citizens and Afghan allies behind enemy lines to be killed by the Taliban or to be used as bait in the largest hostage situation history has ever seen. Oh yeah, and they left behind billions of dollars of equipment and then let the Taliban patrol the outskirts of the airport and it led to a suicide bomber killing 13 American military members. And then they droned an innocent family and killed seven kids and three others, but then told us it was ISIS-K. And then they called the drone strike a mistake. A mistake. You really can't make this stuff up. Needless to say, you'd think some form of accountability would come from these failures, but no. No accountability so far for any of our top military leadership or the Biden administration. Instead, the only person in trouble so far is a Marine officer that spoke up and demanded accountability in the wake of the tragedies caused by our leaders. Lieutenant Colonel Stu Scheller, a Marine officer who posted a now viral video calling for accountability with the Afghanistan failure, is now in the brig in, quote, pre-trial confinement with no date or time determined yet. Marine officials say that there aren't any specific charges initiated or preferred against Scheller, but instead he's just in military jail right now so they can put him into a hearing and determine if charges of contempt towards officials, willfully disobeying a superior officer, failure to obey general orders, or conduct unbecoming of an officer or a gentleman should be recommended for action. No other details were provided, though. Here's the thing. As frustrating as this is, Scheller is a grown man, and he made his bed, so now he's got to lie in it. He made the decision to speak out, and now he's dealing with those consequences. The very frustrating issue Americans should be focusing on is how quickly he was shut down and held accountable for his misbehavior, as our top military leaders are exposed for committing one of the greatest military failures in human history in Afghanistan. Milley's defending his actions after he was exposed for committing treason by alerting our enemy, communist China, about our sensitive information. And our leaders are calling a drone strike that killed seven kids a mistake. Something's not adding up here, and it's pretty frustrating for all of us good, law-abiding, tax-paying Americans.